Now, whole cluster is a little bit different because when you're in carbonic maceration, you want to leave that fruit alone. You want to leave the skins alone and the juice alone and everything so that that intercellular reaction can take place without being disturbed. So whole cluster is a little bit different. You're starting off the same. You're putting all this um, whole bunches into a tank, but through a whole cluster fermentation, you're going to see that crushing at the bottom. You're going to see a fermentation start, but you're also going to be doing pump overs and cap management. And, you know, Pinot Noir, usually that's a punch down, you know, so you're, you're doing more uh, aggressive management of the tank. And so that's going to give you more traditional flavors versus those really estuary three characters. Um, you're also going to see a darker color in whole cluster fermentation, whereas the carbonic maceration, because you're not doing the pump overs, it's not extracting as much color as you would see with a truly managed fermentation with the cap management and everything. But the most impact that I see from whole cluster is really from the aromatic characteristics of the stems being included and also the tannin structure because you're getting more tannin from the stems versus the skins and the seeds. And so that really has a, a key difference um, in texture of the wine. So, and then the aromatics from a whole cluster fermentation, uh, you, it, they seem to go more, it's more spicy. Like uh, you get more like a dark spiciness and then a slight, um, slight herbal edge to it, but not like a negative herbal, more like a dry herb type situation. And so um, for me, those are kind of the key distinguishing characteristics of whole cluster fermentation is that spiciness and the tannin structure, because it does tend to be a more, um, I call it a stemmy tannin, but not in a bad way. Uh, <laughs> and, and then the differences between carbonic is that like really effusive fruit esters and things.